Hey guys, happy leap day! Um, I'm gonna try to make this video a lot shorter than most of mine because I think you guys are all really busy because nobody's really been making or watching videos so I'll try to make it quick for you guys um, especially because, you know, my last one was pretty recently so I don't, shouldn't have that much to say All that's really happened since my last video has been Clue Week um, so I told you on Sunday we ranked and the bigs ranked and pairings were made so all of Sunday was when Actually, Sunday pretty early in the afternoon, all of the alphas, all the people who are already in the frat, the brothers, found out who the littles were for, for everyone. So my whole Sunday consisted of hearing everyone tell me that they knew who my big was. Just They, they just go up to everyone. So like, I walk into a room where there's a few people and it's just like, Emma's like, oh, hey, I know who your big is. Oh, hey, I know who your big is. Everyone's just like, oh, hey, I know who your big is. I got told that on Facebook, on Twitter, on text messages, all day. It's all I heard. Um, actually, the whole week was actually a lot of, I know who your big is. Um, it's funny, they're just like messing with us because we really want to know who our bigs are and they know, so, you know, they're just being mean. But I'll definitely do that when I know who people's bigs are, so I don't really blame people. Um, anyway, so then Clue Week started officially on Sunday because that's when people found out. So I got my first clue, which was a mango, on Sunday. And that kind of made me think um, my big might be Katie or Tanner. And then on Monday I got cupcakes and I got hummus and pita bread and a note that said, I heard you like hummus, so do I. But that wasn't really much of a clue because who doesn't like hummus? Um, anyway, that clue was delivered by Tanner, which confused me because I was like, oh, well, Tanner wouldn't deliver his own clue unless he's trying to throw me off. So I was like, maybe it is Katie. Um, then yesterday I got um, my first clue of the day was this little sled, which is one of the sleds we used when we went sledding. Um, obviously, <laughs> and the people of the brothers that were there were Ashley, Tanner, Jim, and Jesse. Um, and then the note, because it has like a note on it, with Sharpie starts with Nancy Pantsy, and that's what Jesse calls me. So then yesterday I was like, wait, no, maybe Jesse's my big. Um, and it has a little poem thing that uh, pretty much says, if you think you know who I am, think again because I might be mess. You know, I could be sending you certain clues just to mislead you so then I was like I don't even know anything right now because you're pretty much telling me like don't trust anything I've sent you I'm just messing with your head so that was confusing and at that point I was really confused and I got home and I had another clue um, and it included a mirror that says mirror mirror on the wall who are the best littles of them all and then in the back it says you're a twin um, find the other perfect little and so um, Susan also got one of these. So then we, Susan and I figured out that we were twins, obviously. Um, and we started talking about our clues and who we thought um, our big might be. It also came with this crown. Look, crown. Anyway, crown and a cassette, um, a Barry Manilow cassette. And um, I, I was telling Erin about it and she was like, dude, I was volunteering at Goodwill today and I saw Tanner looking through the cassette section. So that was suspicious, obviously. Um, that was last night. Then today was the big, big clue that we finally figured out 100% for sure who it was. So last night we were like, we both kind of had clues that we made us think it was probably Tanner. And then today the big clue was, I got this little card. Actually, where is my card? Give me a sec. I put it in my clutch book. But it was this little card that says, um, you must work with your twin to discover this clue. You'll find one of your big's favorites if you follow through. A lot of rhyming, which was suspicious because Tanner writes poetry a lot. And then the purple letters were filled in and the other ones weren't. And the opposite ones were filled in Susan's. So we figured out what the message was because Susan got one of these too. And it said, Alexander Pope, Eloisa to Ab Abelard, L209. So I was like, that sounds like a book. Let's go to the library. So we went to the library and we found um, Eloisa to Abelard by Alexander Pope. And then we found line 209. Line 209 says, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. So then we were like, favorite movie maybe. So we, go into ta we went into Tanner's Facebook on my phone and sure enough, favorite movie, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. So by that point, we were about 99.9% .9 sure that Tanner was our big. And this was around four and then at six was the revelation. So at six, we went over and we wore our crowns for the revelation, which was very cute, very, they did it 
um, academy style. So our pledge parents, Lindsay and Justin, were super dressed up. Justin was wearing a tux and everything. Um, and they had this like announcement style thing where like um, we were the prizes and the bigs were the winners. So they'd be like the 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 really important um, Nancy and Susan prize um, goes to Tanner. And then Tanner came up and he gave us all flower, both flowers. Here's some of my flowers. Um, and he picked us both up and gave us huge hugs and a bunch of candy, lots and lots of chocolate. Um, so then everyone got their families. We were actually the last two to go. Um, so everybody found out who their bigs were and we were all really happy with our families. Everyone's parents were really good actually. It's funny because DYN has a lot of really, really different people and like all the, I don't know, all the bigs and the littles are so like, they, they just make so well. Like Susan and I, since we were last, we were guessing everyone's, mostly Susan was guessing. Um, and Susan guessed nine out of the 12 pairs. So that's how like good the pairs were. It was just easy to see who liked who. And yeah, then we went to Mac Macados or I don't know how you pronounce the name of that place. But um, Susan and I both weren't very hungry. So we shared this like ginormous nacho plate thing. Um, and then all three of us shared this ice cream sundae, which is like on a big cup thing. It's huge. It's ginormous. So much ice cream. So we ate it all. And that was our wonderful big little celebration dinner. Everyone's really happy. That's all I have to say. I'm, I'm going to start rambling on if I keep saying anything. So yeah, that was the last few days. And I hope you guys stop being so busy soon. I have spring break coming up, luckily. So super excited about that. Just two more days to go. I might not sleep a lot for the next couple of days, but that's okay because I don't have spring break. Anyway, bye. Love you. Have a good week.